Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No tip, no trip. Today we're going to have a discussion. Now look, before we get into it, I know, I get it. Look, why are we still talking about no tip, no trip? I'm going to let you know why right now. Now you can see here, I got 378 in trip earnings and $301 in confirmed tips. This is, this is why no tip, no trip is important. If there was no tips on these orders that I accepted, I would not have, I hadn't, I would not have taken any of those orders. So that, that, that 378 in trip earnings, that's pretty much irrelevant because what really matters is the tips that's associated with those orders. Now, we haven't had a bad week. We had 754 in confirmed earnings and we got like 50 or 60 bucks in unconfirmed on it. It doesn't matter if it's Walmart Spark, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, Skip the Dishes, Roadie. Look, if there's not a tip on the order, 99% of the time is not going to be a profitable order for the driver. Now, the merchant may still be able to make profit on that order. The third party delivery service that's facilitating that order, they may be making profits on that order. But what does that leave the driver? What does that leave the dasher? What does that leave the Walmart Spark driver? That leaves them in a position where either A, they breaking even on the trip. Or B, it's just not a profitable trip at all. And every now and then the base pay go up to a, a height where it's profitable. Look, I get it. That's not what we're talking about. The majority of orders that do not have tips on them are not worth driver's time. Okay? We should only be taking orders that got tips on them that we can see. Okay? It, 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 if we were in a situation where these companies were able to make money and pay us a high base pay, no tip, no trip wouldn't even exist. But that's not where we at. Where we are at is we have an opportunity to make money with the apps. But on the flip side of that, you got to understand that each one of these opportunities ain't a profitable situation. No tip, no trip. If there's no tip on the order, let it sit decline it make the customer wait don't make it easy for them to get whatever they ordering without putting that tip on there if you accepting no tip orders on a regular basis and making excuses why you need to and this you are enabling no tip customers there's gonna be a few situations where ain't nothing we can do about it hey you have to do this in order to get a certain tier on the program i get it as a whole, we should not be taking no tip offers if we can help it. Now, this is not going to be a generalized one size fits off for everybody. But I, I feel strongly about this in my soul because show me the driver and show me the earnings where they taking no tip offers and they making all the money on base pay and they not running their car into the ground or they actually like ain't, ain't ain't no drivers out there that's making money on just trip earnings or just base pay. If you make them bank every week with the third party delivery services, you are getting tipped. OK, and you are taking orders that have tips on them. So what we need to do is move forward because we never going to get the nine tippers to start tipping. They was not tipping before the apps came around. They're going to continue to not tip. And we also not going to get. The DoorDashes, the Walmarts, and the Ubers to stop facilitating these orders. So what we can do is we can keep each other informed and keep the new drivers that are coming onto the platform informed about the types of orders that are profitable and the manipulative tactics of these companies. I can sit here and go on and on about, oh, Walmart Spark manipulates you because they make you accept the round robins that ain't good and DoorDash make you raise your AR so you can get top dash and DoorDash to rewards and Uber Eats got the points and the platinum in it. Look, none of that matters. The only thing that matters is, are you doing what works for you? If you taking 99% no tip offers and you making bank, show me the earnings and I'll shut the hell up. But it ain't no dashes out there making money on base pay like that. Even the shopping orders. So even the shopping orders 
can have a higher base pay. We know this across all platforms. Usually when you shop and deliver, you usually get a higher base pay. But even on those orders, if the customer is not tipping, we should not be taking their order. We should not be enabling and facilitating these deliveries when there's no profitability for the driver. Because what that does is that tells the customer, hey, you don't need to put no tip on her. It's some dumbass fool out there who's going to take this order, bring it to you, and you can do that again. And you're and you telling the algorithm the same thing. Hey, I don't need to make no money. I just need to stay busy. I just keep keep me busy and I'll be happy. So, look, I need I need us to not be happy just being busy. You know, we came into this gig economy to make money. At least I did anyways. I ain't come... I ain't quit my W-2 job to just stay busy. I stayed busy at my W-2. I came into the gig economy to make that money and to make it on my terms. And my terms is not delivering no tip offers with a smile on my face. It's not happening. That's why you, That's why I really don't do too much DoorDash because they push this the most. They, they, they try to hit you emotionally and make you feel the worst about not taking no tip offers. But I'm going to tell you this, though. Even DoorDash has lots of opportunity. You just got to know how to properly navigate, you know what I'm saying, the app and know which orders to accept and which orders to decline. You don't got to take it to the extreme and make a YouTube video like I like to do and talk bad about the orders and the customers that place those orders. You don't got to do all that. But you can learn from these different videos and these different opinions, right? on the different orders that we see in different markets. They all have the same thing in common. No tip, not profitable, stop sending me these orders. So look, if you take nothing else away from this video, take this. If a customer places a tip on that order, for one, they are showing that they care about the driver that bring them the order. For two, they showing that they understand how this works. Every customer don't understand how this works, but here in 2023, it's a lot more informed customers than it was 10 years ago. That's for sure. So we need to have more informed drivers out there and let them know, hey, don't, don't, don't fall victim to the manipulation tactics. Don't, don't, don't sacrifice your vehicle and your profits to bring a customer they, they order and they not valuing you. So look, if you made it this far, do me a favor. Hit that like button. And the subscribe button for your boy, because guess what? I cannot be stopped. And I will be back on the DoorDash platform, because guess what? I don't give a damn, and I'll catch you in the next one.